Now that PR4 got their Fate Simulation 5, I can go ahead and talk about them properly on the changes with these three ships and what has occurred and whether they are good buffs, bad buffs, um, ex uh, expected buffs, and all that. Right, let's get right into it. So I went ahead and dumped all 165 prints into each of the ships so that you can tell right now they have the little five mark Roman numerals already on them. So I am done with those. Anyways, go ahead and talk about it. So Anchorage here. Her buff was the first skill that she got, the red buff. So riddle me this, increase uh, ship's evasion by 15%. So, so this doesn't change as expected. Uh, when this ship fires her torpedoes, a 75% chance this also didn't change. Uh, damage based on skills level, that also didn't change. But I think it's stronger now. I think the only difference now is that um, it is an improved special broad. Yeah, so improved right here. So it does more damage. That's, so that's what I expected when I made that video about a week, week ago. I said that Anchorage defensively is already really good. And so the only way to well round her to be like a little bit more better is to make her more offensive. So in this case, she got an improved barrage. A uh, little lackluster, but regardless, she was already a good ship to begin with. So just having her do a little bit more damage is just icing on the cake. And to be honest, that's expected. If you're wishing for more like a 100% a torpedo or like more evasion, no. She's already really good at that. So it's just a damage increase overall by her barrage. And that's Anchorage right there. August Von Parsifal. So what she got here is Hex Principle of Insight Plus. So what happens now is when this ship launches an airstrike, 100% chance from 75% chance, that's really good, to inflict 234 damage to all enemies and reduce their speed to 0 for 2.5 seconds, returning to normal over 1.5 seconds. So this is consistency right here. This is actually a really good update. When I made that video a week ago, I was expecting either a more bigger duration of the freeze, like 3.5 seconds, or a accuracy bonus to make it more consistent. In this case, we got more consistent for proccing the hex of hex principle of insight. Now the issue still stands where um, it is awkward to work with if you can't hit that air strike within that 2.5 seconds for uh, August von Parsifal and your whole carrier lineup. But now it's going to be a lot more consistent with proccing these instead of gambling and hoping that the 75% chance works and the 25% chance doesn't work. So those um, Arbiter Temperance fights, whatever light armor and medium armor content you're doing should be much more easier uh, this time around because of the 100% proc rate for the Hex Principle of Insight. So consistency is always good. I will take this buff. It's one of the ones I wanted. We will gladly, gladly accept that buff for August 1 Parsifal. And lastly, Marco Polo. Marco Polo got a long one here, so I'll go through it while looking at her other skills on the wiki because a lot of things has changed for her. <laughs> so let's get started because it's going to be quite a long read right here, so this is actually a lot. So, uh, Il Million Plus, I hope I said that right. If there is at least one other ship in your main fleet, decrease this ship's damage taken by 20%. I believe that's already a thing. Yeah, it's already 20%, so this doesn't change right here. This is part of the first, uh, second the second blue skill she has. Or the second skill she had that's blue. And she increases her main gun efficiency by 15%. So this is an increase right here. Initially, it was 10% main gun efficiency. Now it's 15%, so it's a 5% increase. That is always welcome. More damage for Marco Polo is always needed. And anterior gun efficiency by 50%. So this doesn't change as well. It's mainly just... Main gun efficiency, 5 more percent, equals more damage, which is always good for a main fleet ship. When the battle starts, deploys two shields that can block three enemy torpedoes around the frontmost ship of your vanguard. Now, I'm pretty sure that doesn't change either. This is part of the second skill as well. Uh, yeah, spawns two shields that can block enemies for, tor for torpedoes. So that didn't change. Uh, improved the barrage fired by this ship's legendary voyage skill, which is the first skill, so it's like a two-part skill or two-part buff right here. If this ship is your flagship, 
also increase the barrage activation chance by 10%. So it goes from a 75% chance to an 85% chance. A lot more consistent, but still can fail. I know some of you guys probably play Pokemon out there. Moves like Hydro Pump, Fire Blast, those things can miss. So 85% chance, although it's really, really good, it can still miss, but it is definitely an upgrade from the initial 75% chance. And I believe she also got an um, increase in barrage improvements. So increase bra uh no, not that part. Improved the bra uh, barrage fired by the ship's legendary voyage. So I'm hoping that's a bigger buff. Uh, I'll probably post what it looks like in this video. And if this ship is not your flagship, increase the... Um, Instead, it increases the amount of max heal by Legendary Voyage to 8%. So this goes from 5% to 8% to 8%, 3% HP increase. Honestly, no. I'm not a fan of this skill, to be honest, because Marco Polo's barrage, you want her to be the flagship. And even if you want heals for whatever reason, most of the time, if you need heals for sustain, you're doing a very cheap setup, which means you're doing 1-1. One, one. Which means this ship automatically is going to be a flagship, meaning this doesn't really help them that much. Um, the 8% HP um, regen is negligible, but the first part of the skill is really good. 10% increased activation and improved barrage is always welcome. But the 8% HP is like, why would you use her anywhere else if you're not going to use her in the middle? Now obviously you can use Roma, but I'm pretty sure Roma is like, you can use her anywhere. And I'm pretty sure Marco Polo is better as a flagship than Roma, so... Yeah. Um, overall, it is a slight damage increase. 5% main gun efficiency, better barrage, 10% more activation. Not I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say that's a bad one. Definitely is a good buff. Definitely is a good buff. I'm not gonna say it's bad. Um she definitely needed this compared to the other two ships in her banner or her group. AVP and Anchorage got damage increases all around but marco polo also got one and i feel like hers even though it is a significant buff i don't think it's gonna make her like too like really that game breaking i think for the most part if you are an end game player and you're doing like all the end game stuff like os i guess world 14 if, if you're not done with that yet and arbiters meta fights you probably wouldn't be using M marco polo and if you are using her, you're probably using her in your other fleet for the Untold Tale procs. So, the HP regen is negligible, but if you are using her, damage increase. And if you are playing a straight Italian fleet, this is definitely a welcome buff for you. So, that is my review on the PR4 Fate Sim 5s. Again, I said before, most of the ships in this group are really, really good. So everything at this point that they get is just icing on a cake. Anchorage damage boost is icing on the cake. AVP consistency is icing on the cake. And Marco Polo, even though most of the time I use her as a side or a side cross barrage ship, the damage increase she got is definitely a welcomed one whenever I choose to use her. So that is it for this video. Hope you guys enjoy it. And as always, I'll see you on the next video.